And joining us once again to answer your Facebook questions is Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning, Dr. Green. Thank you for joining us once again. Good morning. I like this shirt. Let's go right to the viewer questions. First one, can we still fly to Oahu from Outer Island without quarantine? Yes, you can. And uh, the Inner Island quarantine is basically from, you know, from Oahu to the neighbor islands. So you can do that. Also, you can get exemptions for health care needs and so on. But the basic premise is uh, if people are traveling from Oahu to the neighbor islands, they've got to get a test within three days of travel. Okay, so that's the trick. But if you're coming to Oahu, uh, you don't need to. Now, next question. When you take a test 72 hours prior to departure, are there rules to quarantine until you depart for Hawaii, or can you go about your day? Uh, there, are no, there are no formal rules, but we do encourage people to kind of modify their behavior and stay close to home. A lot of people, of course, are getting ready for their trip, so they're doing errands and so on. But uh, the 72-hour pretest has been very successful. It's kept our numbers extremely low. As you know, we're tightening up the restrictions even further today so that you have to have your test in hand uh, before you depart. Otherwise, you have to face the 14-day quarantine. I know it's controversial, but we're trying to keep things safe. Okay. Yes. Either way, safety is the key. Next question, doctor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can a person become contagious again if they start showing symptoms a month and a half after a positive COVID-19 test? Uh, extremely unlikely. They're probably sick with something else. If they have symptoms, they probably have the flu at that point, if I had to make a guess. Uh, there have been a very small number of secondary infections or secondary cases after someone already had COVID, uh, but it's a tiny number. So that's not something I would worry about. Okay, very good. Not likely. After, next question, doctor. After someone quarantines for two weeks, when should you retake the test? The first week, the second week, or completely after? You don't need to take the test again. Uh, that's not the recommendation from the CDC or anyone else. Uh, you really will test positive for two to three months because you'll have viral particles in the upper airways. The key is to do the right things, which is to take care of all other risks, like getting a flu vaccination. In this case, probably getting a COVID vaccination at some point when uh, you've been authorized by your state. That's, it's going to be very important and central to what I'll be doing this next year. And uh, speaking of the COVID vaccine, what are any new timetables that you are informed of? Yeah, we're, we're hearing what everyone's hearing nationally. They're going to approve some of these vaccines uh, to begin distribution in mid-December. We've been told to stay ready, and so within 24 to 48 hours after that approval happens, they'll start shipping them. We're preparing to do the first batch of uh, vaccinations for our highest-risk individuals, first responders, healthcare workers, and our kupuna. We will be stratifying uh, all the risk also beyond that for the second wave, mostly people with chronic disease. So. We would like to vaccinate everyone who would choose to be vaccinated. It's not going to be mandatory. We know people have some strong feelings about this. I'm going to get a vaccination as soon as I feel it's safe, and I will share when I feel it's safe with everyone. Lieutenant Governor and our COVID-19 liaison, doc Dr. and Lieutenant Governor Josh Green, thank you so much for all the information and sharing with us. You have a wonderful day. Continue to be safe. Thank you. You too. Have a great holiday. Thank you. You too. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy